It's the first call of the day for ambulance technician Dan and paramedic Danny. It's all the way to an elderly man uh, at the minute who's got swelling and pain to one of his arms following some falls. Hello, Edward. Morning. Edward's arm injury looks serious. You've done a number on that, haven't you? He's got advanced Parkinson's. Bless him. He fell two days ago, but his wife delayed calling an ambulance. That's wrong. Right. The intense pressure on the NHS and advice on recent strike days put her off. I did say on the television, only call if it's a matter of life and death. No, don't worry. If you fall, if someone falls over, give us a call. However full the hospitals are, patients like Edward need to be seen. They persuade him to go to A&E. People are a bit scared, like to call ambulances because they think they're going to be stuck in the corridor for a long time or in the back of the ambulance. Straight into that. Straight in. Straight in. How unusual is that? Very unusual. It's often a very different story this winter. Well, there's some days where we're sat outside and there may be 10, 15 ambulances sat outside hospital and we've all got patients on the back. And the next call, a Category 1, a reminder of the need for ambulances to be able to respond immediately. Yeah, so we've got a, an elderly lady um, who's it's coming through that she's having or has had a seizure of some description. They quickly establish there's a problem with the patient's heart. ECGs are all over the place, to be honest with you. Because you need some kind of pacing going on, mate. Her heart rate is so low, there's a danger it could stop. Heart rate at the minute is 2929. Symptomatic. They start treatment and are calling ahead to the hospital in Coventry. Yeah, he's here five minutes to you, mate. You're definitely going to want to release us. She goes straight in for emergency surgery to fit a pacemaker. When you see how quickly they have to move on a serious call like that, you can understand the frustration and concern on the days when they can't get to those Category 1 calls because they're queuing outside hospitals. This time, they were able to save the patient, but at the moment, there are no guarantees. Can things go on as they have been for the last few weeks? No, the, the things can't go on as they are, really. Um, Early the cardiac lady had a normal kind of busy day we would normally see. That would be a massive delay um, and potentially resulted in, in somebody's life. Have you ever known it to be like this? No, never, never. Something has got to give. The question is what? With long delays, strikes and thousands of excess deaths, the pressure on the NHS is unprecedented and the route to recovery far from clear. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Coventry.